This is a piston guide oil seal repair video for the general pump model MK and R series. The tools needed are an impact wrench, a 3 inch diameter by 12 inch long 1 8 inch thick PVC pipe, a 2 inch by 12 inch by 1 8 inch PVC pipe, two support handles, two support pins, a pick, a 4 millimeter hex drive, a 5 millimeter hex drive, a 14 millimeter hex drive, a 17 millimeter socket, a 3 8 inch ratchet, a round head tool, a soft rubber mallet, a torque wrench, two 5 millimeter by 65 millimeter by 0 0.08 millimeter threaded bolts, packing lubricant, and a packing support pusher tool. Use the impact wrench with a 14 millimeter hex attached to loosen and remove the two outside bolts on the top row of the manifold. Insert and thread two support pins in place of the two bolts that were just removed. Use the impact wrench to loosen the remaining bolts in the order demonstrated. This will help ensure a straight and proper removal of the manifold. Remove the bolts. At General Pump, we believe in safety first. We highly recommend that you have someone assist you in removing the approximately 150-pound manifold. Thread the handles on each side of the manifold. Again, with assistance, remove the manifold. Remove the support pins. At times, the packing spacer ring may stay in the crankcase. If this happens, simply tap the packing spacer with a soft rubber mallet to loosen it. Be careful because the spacer is spring-loaded and the spring may eject quickly. Use the 3 8 inch ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket attached to loosen and remove the plunger bolt. Remove the plunger. Use the impact wrench with a 5mm hex attached to loosen the four bolts from the top cover. After all bolts are loosened, remove the cover. From the top of the pump, install the packer pusher tool into the piston guide. Thread a plunger bolt to provide additional support of the pusher tool. After the plunger bolt is threaded, unthread and remove the pusher tool handle. Manually rotate the crankshaft. This will push the piston guide out along with the pusher tool and the packing retainer. Be sure to respect the o-ring position at the rear of the cylinder. Unthread and remove the support pin and the packing support pusher tool. Remove the plastic flinger washer and o-ring from the piston guide. Remove the two retaining bolts from the crankcase. Install the two 5mm by 65mm by 0.08mm bolts into the threaded holes of the retainer. Use two pliers to grab the two bolts. 
This will release the retainer from the case. Remove the two bolts from the retainer. This allows for the retainer to be removed from the front of the crankcase. Inspect the oil seal and the O-ring of the retainer and replace if necessary. Install the retainer from the front of the crankcase and position it over the piston guide. Insert the PVC pipe over the retainer. Gently tap the PVC pipe with a soft rubber mallet. This will seat the retainer into the crankcase. Install the retainer bolts. Torquing to the proper specs. Install the O-ring and the flinger washer onto the piston guide. Install the packing support O-ring into the corner of the crankcase. Use packing lubricant to help keep the O-ring in place. Install the plunger and thread the plunger bolt onto the guide. Torque to the proper specs found in the repair manual. Apply packing lubricant to the inside seal surface. This allows the packing retainer stack to more easily slide over the plunger. Install the stack into the manifold. Use the soft rubber mallet to lightly tap the stack properly into position. Use the PVC pipe and insert the packing retainer into the crankcase and over the plunger. Be sure to respect the crossover seal and the packing retainer space seal. Thread the manifold support pins into the outer two top row threads of the crankcase. Again, for your safety, General Pump highly recommends that you have someone assist you to lift the approximately 150 pound manifold back into position. Replace the upper crankcase cover and tighten the four bolts using a five millimeter hex drive. Inspect all spacer O-rings for wear and damage and replace if necessary. Install the springs over the plungers. Install the spacers into the manifold. Slowly push the manifold into position.
Be sure to hold it for continued support. Insert a bolt into the second thread from the right in the top row and another bolt into the second thread from the left on the bottom row. Alternate tightening these two bolts to ensure proper seating of the manifold. Once these two bolts are tightened, the manifold will be secure on its own. Remove the two support pins. Insert and thread the remaining six bolts. Tighten them to a snug fit with a 3 8 inch ratchet with a 14 millimeter hex attached in the order demonstrated. This will help ensure a proper and tight fit. Use the torque wrench and tighten to the proper specs. Finally, remove the two support handles.